So Pearl Stage is kind of all over the place right now because we had a very spread out planting window for soybeans this year. I know of some that were planted the third week of April and some that were planted like last week. Um, but soybeans are a daily sensitive crop and we are past the longest day of the year. So once they start to sense the days getting shorter, any plants that are at or beyond V3 or the third trifoliate uh, will start to flower. So even the late planted beans will start to catch up pretty quickly in terms of staging. Um, these were planted the first week of June, so about three weeks ago, and they're already starting to get that second trifoliate. So I wouldn't be surprised if these are flowering by this time next week. We had almost no white mold in 2024, um, but there was a ton in this area in 2023. So if you did have any fields with white mold in 2023 and any of them are back into beans this year, I would certainly be thinking about that and prioritizing them for a fungicide application because field history is the number one contributing factor to white mold development. And it's not something we can scout for. We have to make a decision about spraying a fungicide long before visual symptoms appear in the field. Um, so field history is definitely something to think about. Fungicides are a tool that can be used to help manage white mold, but they are by no means a silver bullet. The most important management decisions for managing white mold are your crop rotation, your variety selection, and your population. And those are all made at the time of planting. So just keep it in mind if you do have white mold in 2025, take that into consideration when you're making your plans for 2026. Even in the absence of white mold pressure, we do see a pretty consistent yield benefit from a fungicide app on beans. Um, it depends a little bit on crop pricing and what your cost of application is, but you only need about two bushels to pay for an application of Delero Complete. Where I see the benefit with a fungicide app in beans is the improved plant health and stress tolerance you get. Just keeps them green and growing a little bit longer into late summer, so when we get those inevitable August rains, they'll put on seed size. If you're trying a fungicide for the first time in your beans, start with one of your highest yielding fields with the best potential, and I suggest leaving yourself an untreated check strip so you can compare and see what the yield benefit is. R1 is when one flower is open anywhere on the plant. If you normally experience heavy white mold pressure and are planning a two-pass program, this is usually when you'd make your first application followed by a second app about 10 to 14 days later. R2, or full flower, is when there is an open flower at one of the top two nodes on the main stem. Several studies correlate canopy closure, which often happens around R2, with optimum fungicide efficacy. So spraying at R2 gives you the best chance of an economic return, and it's what I recommend in most scenarios. Once we get to R3, which is when pods are starting to develop and are bigger than five millimeters long on the top nodes of the main stem, it's probably time to put away the fungicide because applications at or beyond R3 have rarely been found to be economical. Delaro Complete goes down at a rate of 30 acres per jug in soybeans. It is rain fast in one hour, and I recommend 15 to 20 gallons per acre of water because coverage is really important. And you can scan the QR code on the top of your box for more application tips. Have a great long weekend and happy Canada Day.